Hey guys, what's up? So, today we're on 81. Now, I actually did a video on this bus and its sister bus almost two years ago. Um, its sister bus was retired shortly after that video and replaced with a C2 and um, the old 79 was actually sold off last May. So, um, I figured I'd do like an updated tour um, since 81 is still here and uh, just kind of show you what kind of condition it's in at the current time and you know just kind of talk about it a little bit so there's the asset number which interesting thing and I probably pointed this out in the other video um, the 2100s there 2174 uh, 66 was 2180 so these are the only the only two or 7981 were the only two buses I had seen out of ours and out of any other laid ball bus with an asset number like this to be in the 2100 number series other than 66 so I thought that was kinda cool um, I wanna say 79 was 221.73 for but I am not sure I will look and I will put it in the video um, so yeah I mean this is what 81 looks like right now this is probably its last year of service um, I would be shocked if it wasn't, honestly. Um, so 81 and 79 actually both still had their original floors. Um, as you can see, it's got the gray floor, which this, this is the floor color I like on a first gen because it's what all of ours had. Um, combined with this seat fabric color, I mean, I, this, this is my favorite because it's what I had growing up. And of course, high headroom. Um, now like this bus and its sister did not have changeable signs so like this entire roof cap is blank like there's no door um, whereas the other ones obviously had a door to access the school bus signs uh, these also have the plastic side um, bar things whatever you want to call them where the dome lights go uh, whereas the uh, like 50 it's an 04 and it doesn't uh, but it was built in March of 04 versus this being built in December of excuse me, March of 03 versus this being built in uh, December of 03. Um, so that's, you know, just a little bit di uh, difference there. Um, this bus also has black door frames, whereas all of our other first gens did not. Um, so, yeah, um, also stainless steel step well. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's take a look here. Here's the... Uh, gauge cluster we're sitting at 219 173 um, which honestly I mean I don't know if that's the accurate mileage mileage because you know with these older buses sometimes they're not always accurate but that's only about 300,000 above 50 um, so that's not too bad uh, switch panel right there most of those switches are kind of hard to read um, door you can see where 81 is there. Um, there's the child checkmate, theft mate, little sensor guy. Um, you'll notice that the build tag is there. Usually it's like over here or in this area. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, you also have a first student um, location inspection sh data sheet right here. Um, and then all your other stuff. There's your rule sheet. There's your camera. And then you can see the Previous holes from the cameras that were in here before these. Um, body fluid cleanup kit, all that fun stuff. And then, uh, uh, I'm just kind of looking at this thing because 50s has a crack. And I'm just trying to see if any of these other ones have one in decent shape compared to 50. But, um, anyways, I mean, that's the inside of 81. We'll go ahead and take a look out. You can see where the bottom step's been replaced. Now, this one says CE200, 81, I don't think. Yeah, they took the number off. Inspected for the 23-24 school year. And this, these 81 and 79 had completely flat sides. Just like a new CE would. Um, and now you can, you can see a little bit of the rust and where it's been uh, touched up. And then you can see patch job there, 81, of course no changeable school bus sign. 
I do not like these style of reverse lights. I'm just going to say it. Um, this is still the original rear door. It's got the factory stop lettering, and you can see where they've worked on it just to keep it, you know, keep that door there. There, there's the uh, reflective Lebanon City Schools. You can see where the L is kind of leaving. Anyways, uh, there's 81 up to date inspection sticker, of course, and then IC logo up there, which you can see about what condition it's in, and then uh, stop sign. And uh, of course, this one had a cross arm, but it was removed. And then there's your IC badge 81, and um, yeah, I mean, that's that's 81. Uh, very good looking bus in my opinion. Um, even with the black door frames, I do love it. And I'm probably going to get called out for this, but I'm sorry. I just prefer yellow door frames on CEs and REs and FEs and anything else I see or Amtran International has ever made. Um, because that's what all of our, well the majority, all of our first gens except for this one and the, uh, the sister had yellow door frames. I know 28 it had its door frames painted black, but it did not start its life with black door frames. So, that's just my opinion. If it wasn't for the little hinges that I've talked about in other videos on second gens now, it really wouldn't bother me that much. Um, here, I'll try to zoom in and see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So, if you look on 38 there, you can see where that little hinge mounts to the side of the bus for the door, and it's painted black. That drives me up a wall. That should be painted yellow. So that way it, it goes and flow with the yellow on the body. Um, I mean, I don't expect them to, you know, paint one specific part of the door yellow, obviously. But that's just my opinion. And also, I just think a yellow door frame looks better. I never really got the point of a black door frame. Um, on a C2, it's kind of... It, to me, it looks fine because they've always had it. But me personally... I don't get the point of a black door frame. What does it do, honestly, that a, a yellow door frame wouldn't? Personally, I would think that the yellow door frame, like, you'd want it here. You'd want it... Wow, I forgot how zoomed in that was. You would want it on the entrance doors, so that way, you know, they can be seen just as easily as the rest of the bus. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just arguing something that isn't worth arguing, but that's my opinion. Um... And I just, yellow door frames are better. Personally. That's what I think. Um, now I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stop ranting about yellow door frames. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, um, video. If you want to see tours of the other three before they're gone, let me know. And I will do a separate video for those. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye.